I was just wanting to measure the speed, but actually I'm just gonna go with the speed that I estimate from... Um, from the map plotting, because I don't want to stick my tour, uh, my my periscope out under these circumstances. I want to be cautious here. Wondering how I should uh, do this double attack. I can set up two salvos so I can fire them almost simultaneously. I will. Uh, Shoot the first one, and then I'll quickly calculate the angle and bow for the second ship. Set it up in the targeting computer. I just hope the speed is more or less correct. We're below a thousand meters, so shouldn't matter too much. Open the tubes. very slowly. Roughly 850 meters.
Okay, let's switch over. And let's... The red one is the one in the middle, so... We have a 90 to 35, that gives us 125. 55, okay. That looks pretty good. Go. Nice. Hey, Color Cook, I see that's two hits on the first one. Pretty much where we aimed. Now the others will start zigzagging. And changing speed, but it should. Yes. Beautiful. I think we can next time we can widen the angle a bit in order to spread the hits a bit out. Let's go west. Let's go under. Ah, we cannot go this deep. Okay, let's go. So the first one is for sure listing. I don't see I don't see the uh the holes. <coughs> This one. No. Don't see any holes either here. Oh, we had a hit. Let's see. We still have a stern tube that we can use. Now we're too far under. Let's stay at periscope depth and uh if we have to, we will use the stern tube for for the second one. We'll have a lot of battery power left. It's weird that uh, there are no holes in the hull. None whatsoever. Maybe it uh, doesn't know how to display it when there are two holes very close to each other. 
which is possible given the that we didn't open the angle really wide. Okay, so bump our speed up a bit. So we can keep up with this second guy. I think he passes in front of the wreck of the other. I don't want to surface given the proximity to Kappa Flow and Northern England. You can still hear secondary explosions going off. This one is looking good. How many impact the sound guy here? Four. Or four impact. Surprising that uh, this guy is still looking as good as he does. Either way, I think those were good hits. Um, the only problem is we only have two uh, reserve torpedoes left. And they are external. So far I haven't had the opportunity to reload them. We have turned west and this other guy is around here. Let's uh, speed up. And then we'll turn and try to sink him with our stern tube. Get a quick bearing here. too fast. Thing is, uh, I don't have a proper speed estimate. Actually, I think the the one in the stern tube is a steam torpedo, so you can get it too fast. It'd be nice to get this other guy while he's still closed. Uh, you're roughly 45 degrees. We should just give it a try. Yo, 
Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Let's see what that does. Yes. Nice hit. But I think it's again in the same location. Now he's uh, a blaze at stern. Okay, so this guy is done. Take a look. Still no hold here, but uh, it's definitely going down. I'm breaking apart. Nice. Good job, everyone. Or U49. We might have to surface and finish off this uh, second guy with uh, that gun. In order to do that, I'm gonna order. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, große Fahrt voraus. We'll turn towards the north. We'll come Jawohl, around here this way. And Neuer Kurs. Eins. Attack him from from north. Too bad uh, I don't have any reserve torpedoes to load to attack this guy here. Last uh, remaining one. Are there any survivors? One, uh, Kontakt, Frachter, kommt näher auf 1, 2, 5, geringe Entfernung. I'm surprised they didn't uh, try to protect this convoy better. I mean, they knew that uh, we were around all day. They made us dive several times. So I would have expected that uh, the Royal Navy would come out here with uh, at least uh, maybe a destroyer or a corvette. Yeah, there's one is in the in the log, not the other one yet. Get north of the track here a bit. Like, uh, low maybe. And then let's turn in. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, neuer Kurs. Let's 
check what's going on. Yeah, he's still up. Okay, let's, uh... Surface. Then we'll, uh, deck gun. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy, kleine Fahrt voraus. Wir wurden entdeckt, Herr Kaloy. It's left with this. Are they armed? I don't think so. He's my gunnery expert here. They don't, uh, I don't think they are armed. They have a platform here in the back, but I don't see any guns on them, so I think we are safe. Turning wildly. Oh, they switched. They switched fire. I don't think we can sink the other. I don't think we can sink the other guy just by, just by deck gunning him. We have set him on fire. I mean, given the fact that we don't have any... Oh, he's already gone. That we don't have any torpedoes ready, um, I don't mind using the deck gun. I take quite a number of uh, shells here. But he starts to list, I think. That is not good. Oh wow, there was a hit in the engine room, which uh, answers the question of how many shells we need here. Well, I think that is a good result here. I'm not sure how realistic it is, I think a whole almost 5,000 ton work freighter uh, by pumping a dozen or so shells into it from actual war diaries that you can download online um, we know that uh, some ships didn't sink after they pumped about 100 shells into them some of the crews are very disappointed with the uh, with the efficiency of the deck gun. Either way, I think we have done a good job here. Question is what to do now. Three war carriers, a fish factory and a passenger freighter.
Um, we only have three torques left. No, not even. But we're heading back west. And we're gonna shoot whatever we find. And once we're out, we're, we're gonna return. Let's send a status report. And let the... Man the conning tower. We'll let him rest, he's gonna reload the torpedoes at night. Which I believe are only two now. Some crew management here. So how about those torps? Yep, we have two external reserves torps. And that's it. But that's fine. We'll find worthy targets, I'm sure. Um uh, where is him? guy up here. Can replace him. I'd like to have him ready in a bit. Okay, so that's about this. Uh, I have to mark the target. There's a group of survivors over there. And there is a group here. And the other ones didn't make it. They thought they were safe, so they were uh, steering the ship away and didn't man the, the rescue boats. And now um, when our stern torpedo hit them, they were taken by surprise and didn't uh, manage to save anyone. Uh, SH-3 commander gives detailed statistics for every ship, how many survivors and what the load was, etc, etc. Et I think it's just for immersion, I don't think there's any anything that uh, tracks it really. But uh, it'll look good uh, on our record. Uh, like I've said uh, in a previous episode, frequently German submarine commanders would approach the survivors and provide them with directions and sometimes life rafts or a bit of food. So let's uh, do that here. We'll approach this group over here and give them directions. We're nice uh, enemies, so to say. So let's turn in a bit more. Be careful not to run over these. Uh, See what it looks like from their perspective.
Slow down. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Kleine Fahrt voraus. And uh, once that's done, we will uh, head west and look for new targets. At around 9 or 10 at night, when we're safe from uh, dive bombers, we will reload the external torpedoes. Alright gentlemen, take the map and good luck. You're not too far, you're about... Where are we looking at here? 100 kilometers. That's doable. They have boats. The conditions are pretty good. And I'm sure they have been able to radio in help. Too bad for the crew of the second ship. They were not prepared. Anyway, let's uh, continue on and I'll get back to you with uh, if anything interesting happens. 